Hola, bienvenidos a Sefania Services, Easy Way to Learn Español. We are continuing with our Spanish basics, exchange information, personal information. We are on part two. Now, if you remember, um, on the previous video, we went um, in detail over cómo te llamas, de dónde eres, and the civil or marital status. Now, today we're going to focus on this section, which... Um, is concerning on how can you say or ask how many languages does someone speak and how can you say the languages that you speak, okay? For example, uh, this is like a little exercise, okay? So we have two ways of asking the following question. Um, ¿Qué idiomas hablan en a country? O qué lenguas hablan en the country, right? For example, qué idioma hablan en España? O qué lenguas hablan en España? The answer is like this. En, followed by the country. Hablan, followed by the language. For example, en España hablan español okay now if you are thinking about idiomas and lengua what's the difference all right so idiomas and lenguas right the difference is the same as the english difference between tone and language um in both languages either word can be used for language uh, one difference is that lengua is feminine la lengua um and um tone <clears throat> sorry uh, idioma, porque, pardon, idioma is masculine, el idioma. Oh, another thing is that tone um, is literally the um, the tone what you have in your mouth. But lengua, basically la lengua. But have you maybe heard like uh, somebody ask, what's your mother tone, right? So it's kind of the same. But sometimes some, some say lengua, some say idiomas, okay? Um, all right, so let's do this again. For example, we have here, wait, let me explain a little bit better. We have some flags from different countries here. Um, on the top, I've written the country, la, el país, por ejemplo, Japón, Italia, Brasil, Estados Unidos, Francia, España, Alemania, Rusia, China, Egipto. Y abajo es la lengua o el idioma. The language o yeah, the language or the tone that is spoken in the country. Por ejemplo, japonés, italiano, portugués, inglés, francés, español, alemán, Ruso, Chino, Árabe. Okay, so going back to this exercise. Um, ¿Qué idiomas hablan en España? En España hablan español. Okay, so let's go on the next exercise. Now, when you to speak right it, you i want you to speak and practice that's why you have here this symbol here i want you to speak um and follow me okay so for example in the first exercise we remember here this like the the formula if you will que idiomas oh missing an eye <laughs> i beg your pardon <laughs> and i double check this but you know sometimes the letter escapes my eye so, ¿qué idiomas o lenguas hablan en? Then you choose the country. And the answer is en, the country, hablan the language. ¿Ok? So, por ejemplo, ¿qué idioma hablan en Italia? Okay, now I want you to answer. I can't hear you, but you can type it in the in the on the comments. But I want you to speak it so that you can practice. If I ask you, ¿qué idioma hablan en 
Italia. En Italia, that's right, hablan italiano. Muy bien. Muy bien. Excellent. Excelente. Ok, let's go on the next. ¿Qué idioma hablan en Egipto? ¿Qué idioma hablan en Egipto? Mm -hmm. En country, Egipto, that's right, hablan árabe. Excellent. Muy bien. Okay, the next one. I'm thinking of my sister Soleya. <laughs> when I say muy bien now. <laughs> yeah, bless you. Okay, um, next one. Okay. ¿Qué idioma? You can also say lengua, okay? But just make it simple in one way. ¿Qué idioma hablan en Brasil? ¿Qué idioma hablan en Brasil? Okay, what are you saying? Muy bien, muy bien. En Brasil hablan portugués. Yes. Sí, correcto. Okay, now this, as you see here, is empty because I want you to do that yourself. Okay, I want you to practice the whole, the question and the answer. Or you can leave it in the comment. I mean, I would like to know, certainly. Or you can just share it and practice with your family and friends. Okay, so I'll leave that for you. ¿Qué idioma hablan en...? One of these countries. Oh, if you want to know other country that is not listed here, then by all means, suggest it in the comments. Okay, so let's go on a different page. Okay, ¿qué idiomas habla? ¿Qué idiomas hablas? Okay, if you remember, we went over this on the foundational video for the series, uh, where we went over the conjugation of the verb to speak or hablar. ¿Vale? Yo hablo, tú hablas, right? That's why I say, ¿qué idiomas hablas? Because I'm asking you. You can also say, if you want to be more specific or to be more formal, uh, ¿qué idiomas hablas tú? You can say that. But because it is understand, uh, it is under, uh, understood, sorry, that hablas belongs to the second person, sometimes it's not necessary. At the beginning it is because you are getting used to the language. But as you practice and mature in the language, you realize that it is not necessary all the times to pronounce, um, to add the, the personal noun. Because the verb already explains the noun, if that, if, if that makes sense. Okay, or oh, which person you refer in first, second, third, so on and so forth. First, second, third of the singular, first, second, third of the plural. Okay, so, ¿qué idiomas hablas? So, if I want, if I want to ask you, ¿qué idiomas hablas? O, ¿qué idiomas hablas tú? Right? You remember this example from the foundational video? Hablo inglés y español. O, hablo Hablo, you remember? Hablo, which means yo hablo, right? I speak. Eh, hablo francés y un poco de alemán. Okay? So, let's have this. Let's take a look at this mini dialogue between Ezra and Lia. ¿Qué idiomas hablas? Yo hablo inglés y español. Muy bien. Okay, let's see a different example. Okay? Uh, Let's say they are in a workplace. Du, 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 du. Hola, ¿qué lenguas hablas tú? You see, now we have lenguas instead of idiomas. It's the same, but just to give you a different uh, vision or a different option. ¿Qué lengua hablas tú? You see, she's incorporating the, she's incorporating the you, you know, the, of the uh, personal noun. ¿Qué lenguas hablas tú? The person reply, yo hablo. You see? Now he's adding as well the person noun. I speak instead of using just the verb. Yo hablo italiano. Y un poco. Y un poco is en a little of. O en a bit of. Y un poco. Por, oh, sorry, I'm missing one here. So we, the Portuguese. Okay. Yo hablo italiano y un poco de 
portugués o un poco de portugués. Because what's missing here, sorry, Polo, yeah, it's my, my bad, is the article de here. Yo hablo italiano y un poco de portugués. And the person asks, what about you? And you, what language do you speak in other words? So let's do that again. Uh, hola, ¿qué lenguas hablas tú? Yo hablo italiano y un poco de portugués. Y tú, and you, y tú. The lady replies, yo a... Uh, a ver, que pardon, this is the phone, <laughs> sorry. Eh, yo hablo árabe y francés. Excellent, yo hablo árabe y francés. Muy bien. Now, let's see. But let's put together. You remember um, on the previous video, we were adding um, the questions to the dialogue. Well, let's do, let's, let's go with that dialogue again. And let's add what we learned today, the question on how many or how many language or what language do you speak to this dialogue. Are you ready? ¿Estás lista? Muy bien. Ok. Erra stars. Hola. ¿Cómo te llamas? Lea. ¿Y tú? Yo soy Ezra. Mucho gusto. Encantada. ¿De dónde eres? Soy de Cuba. ¿Eres cubano? Sí. ¿Y tú? ¿De dónde eres? Soy brasileña de Río de Janeiro. ¿Qué idiomas hablas? Yo hablo inglés español y portugués. ¿Y tú? Yo hablo español y un poco de inglés. Ah, well done. Now you can practice this with your family and friends, okay, and have fun with it. Now you remember the filling the form part on the extra practice from the previous video. Now we have added Another section here, which is under idiomas. Now, if I ask you, ¿qué idiomas hablas tú? What languages do you speak? ¿Qué idiomas hablas tú? Then I want you to write that here or in the comments below. And the next section uh, where we're going to share um, or be able to explain what do we do or what our work is, then we're going to add that here. That's for the next video. So stay tuned. Now, if you like, please like, share, subscribe to my channel, share with family and friends. And if you have any questions or any queries or concerns, please um, leave them in the comment below. Okay. Now, if I ask you, ¿Qué idiomas hablas tú? What will you say? Ah, <laughs> well, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. On the next class, we're going to, um, on the next video, we're going to continue with the how to ask and give personal information, part three. And thank you for watching. Gracias. I hope you enjoyed this, this lesson. And remember to check only Set Park on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And also, please, um, uh, don't forget to follow me on my other social media platforms, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. And that's it for now. Ya bendiga. Bye for now. Hasta luego.